before I get in my car, you guys, I just want to show you how beautiful of a day it is. Like, look at the sky. It's so clear. So, I gave my makeup another try, you guys. So, let me know what y'all think. I feel like I did a little bit better. So, yeah, leave me a comment down below what you guys think. And let's get into this video. Don't know where to put this camera. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Y'all already know the vibes. It's me. So today I'm going to be doing a kind of like a story time slash um tip video slash my hands are ashy. I'm going to be telling you guys about my car buying experience and getting a car from Carvana. And also I'm going to give you guys a car tour of my beautiful car. I named her Rita. So you guys will see what she looks like. I just wanted to make this video for people my age or younger who plan on buying a car or want to know what the process is like and everything like that. Because honestly, you guys, I didn't know much about buying cars until I finally bought my own car. I'm about to give y'all the tea on buying a car, looking for cars, loans, everything like that. So if you want to know about the car buying experience, stuff like that, based on my experience, make sure you stay tuned for the rest of the video. So I'm going to try to say, make this as short and sweet as possible. I'm also going to include pictures and videos if I have some. I do have some. Also, this video is not sponsored by Carvana. This is just my true and honest opinion. To begin this video, um, before I had this car, I had a 2003 Honda. And um, one day, like I've had problems with it ever since I got it. Like a little bit after I got it. And so one day, um, when I bought my handy dandy iPad that I had in the last video, I went to go pick it up one day and literally my car didn't start and so you know we did the whole jumping process da, 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 and i thought i was good for the next day and basically it didn't start again so that's when i realized that something was wrong with my car basically it was just time for me to get a new car what i had in mind was an suv i really wanted an suv but i would settle for like a regular car if you know that's what i had to get so and like before i get things i'll see it in my mind and literally when i imagined the car that i wanted inside I saw a black car it looked like a SUV um I started my car search and I was just like looking at cars to see what I liked or something that I could get in my price range and everything like that and at the same time this was around like de December while this situation with my car is happening my bank is emailing me that they have rates going on and stuff like that so I was like okay maybe this is a sign like this is a perfect time for me to get a car i mean even though my car is not working i was told that the end of the year like december january is like the best time to get a car because rates are low and stuff like that me and my mom decided to go ahead and go to the bank so we can get the loan to see if we can get the loan approved now i didn't go into it like hoping that i get this loan like i have to get this loan i just went into it to like see if i would get it or not like i wasn't really like expecting anything i was just going into it to see what happened so we went there and basically i got a proof of the loan and i was i told them the loan amount when you go to get a loan you have to give them like an amount that you want to put down towards the car so basically um for people that don't know what a loan is like a car loan you go to your bank or your credit union they tell you like the percent the apr rates apr i'll put the definition and everything on the screen and you give them an amount that you want to put down, put, pay for the car, um, and they let you know if it's approved or not. So basically, I gave them my amount, and they approved it. And uh, the next thing I had to do was just go find the car that I wanted, and then the bank would give them the car dealer or whoever the check. That same day that I got approved, I was trying to tell my mom that I wanted to go look at this Toyota that I saw. Um, it was just a Toyota Corolla, I think or Camry and it was in my price range and everything and it had good mileage and stuff like that so when you're looking for a car the main important things that you want to look at is like of course the price of the car to know if you can afford it the mileage you want to make sure the mileage adds up to the year of the car or like how many years it is from now so for example for each year you count 12,000 miles so for example if you were looking for a car that is 
a 2017 car so you basically try to measure up the mileage to that year okay three years right so you will count 12,000 miles for each year so basically if you're gonna get a 2017 car it should be in the range of 36,000 miles or around that it's just like an average so that's kind of the mileage that you want to go for you also want to look for the quality of the car like you want a car that's gonna last you a very long time but then like you also want to get something that you like and that you love and that you really want to drive so it just really depends on like your taste and everything but just make sure that you're getting a good quality car with good miles so i did my research and everything and i was just looking up cars like my family they all have toyotas so i was looking for toyotas i was looking for hondas and then i looked up and saw that kias are also were also good quality cars on the list so you just have to do your research i was just car searching and i went to get the toyota and like take a look at it and we ended up not going and then it was eventually sold that night you guys i was so upset but i was like okay maybe i wasn't supposed to have that car then i was doing some more research and i came upon this kia soul it was a 2014 kia soul i don't know like it just stood out to me and i wasn't plotting on getting a kia like i just made sure that it was you know a good quality car and so i was like okay um if i have a picture of it i'll put it on the screen i saw this car and i just it just stood out to me so i was like okay mom can we just go look at this car it's at this dealer it's like 45 minutes away so we went to go look at the car and literally um we did a test drive and everything and literally you guys i just really fell in love with the car it could have been because um i just liked the car so much and because I needed a car that I was so eager to get it. Um, but one thing about getting a car is you have to really have patience. You have to like take your time and look for a car that you really want. Like don't just get a car that you're like okay with. You need to get a car that you really, really want. So we went ahead and we signed off on the car and drove it off the lot that same day. So when we were driving on our way home, Literally, the car engine light came on. And when I told my mom that the engine light came on, like, it was just a red flag for her. Wanting me to take the car back and just look for another car. When I tell y'all, I was so sad. No! I was so sad. Like, I really wanted this car. And I was so ready to have this car. Drove it for, like, one full day. And there were more problems to the car. So, I was just like, maybe this is a sign. I'm just going to give the car back. So, we gave the car back to the dealer. And one thing I want to say is that make sure that your car is perfectly and fine and everything before you give the dealer the check. Some dealers will, you know, work with you and just refund you everything and some won't. So just make sure that your car is good and everything is working properly. That's just another tip. So basically after I gave the car back, I just started doing some more research and everything. One thing that the bank said in the email about the bank loan and the APR is that I can get 0.25% off of my rate if I buy through Carvana so I was like hmm, maybe I should just check Carvana and on my car search again and you guys on Carvana they make everything so easy like I'm gonna show you guys on my phone I'm gonna do a screen recording on my phone of how to do it so this is basically how my car search went let me show you guys Carvana I'm gonna do a screen recording so basically I just went on the website <clears throat> and this is what the website looks like um, so what I would do is I would type in Kia Soul and search all right and they have all the type of Kias listed down below and all that type of stuff so then they just show you all these kias and stuff like that or whatever car you're looking for they will show you different kinds with the mileage and the shipping and all that type of stuff on the screen as well so for me at the time i was looking for because the first kia that i had it didn't have like the apple play or the reverse camera stuff like that so i was like you know if i'm gonna get a new car i kind of want that in my car um, at least the reverse camera at the most and Bluetooth because y'all I didn't have that in my old car I'm like my old car was old like literally old so basically what I would do is I would go to like filters so for instance let's say price you can add a cash down if you want to but I would just go to price over here and then you can just put whatever your price range is let's say $20,000 and then you'll apply the filter 
and it'll show you cars that you know fit that price range but I would also go to mileage and I will put like you know let's say 60,000 miles then I will go to features right here like you guys this is exactly what I did when I searched for a car so I will look for where is it rear view camera so I will check that off and that's pretty much all I would do the other stuff didn't really matter to me so yeah so then as you can see the results went down so then I would just scroll oop, oop, hold up hold up so then I would just scroll and see which car fit my um basically what I was looking for I'm looking for a car is to go for one that only had one owner and no accident say for example let's say this one right so I would click on here and it will load up the car and Carvana does do a seven day return um so what you do is you like go through the whole process purchase the car and if you don't like it you and you have it for seven days and if you don't like it you can just return it and they'll give you your money back which is a plus because with other dealers sometimes it's a hassle to do all that and you have to go to court stuff like that so that's one plus about carvana actually there's a couple pluses about carvana but that's like a really good plus the thing i like about carvana is that you basically get a tour of the car like even though you're not really there in person they give you like a really good tour like you can you basically tour the car virtually which is really good plus especially during a coronavirus it's better to like do things online instead of going in person so you don't like be at risk and stuff and you can also get it delivered so you don't really have to be in contact with anybody if you wanted to do that so basically you'll see the screen and you can literally spin to look out outside the car stuff like that and they will have these little triangles on the screen and if you tap it it'll show you like what is on the car in the area so right here it says passenger door scratches so it literally shows you like the imperfections and stuff wrong with the car most of the time it's not that bad of you know stuff and then they show you the features you get two keys you get a bluetooth the autumn uh, mm -hmm, backup camera stuff like that so then you'll go down they'll show you the price and everything the mileage and the delivery and pickup options and the seven day return policy all it shows you that carvana vehicles are all accident free and then it shows you like the details and everything like that and it shows you down here the price now the other thing i like about carvana is that you can do like estimate financing so if you plan on getting a loan either with carvana with your bank whoever you can enter all the stuff in and it'll show you your monthly payment so if you want to alter it, like your credit score is a little bit more down and you want to do like a 60 months loan, you can go ahead and do that. Or if you want to put cash down, if you want to put cash, all right, if you want to put cash down also, it will lower your monthly payment. So I don't know why it's doing that, but yeah, you guys, you can do a lot on Carvana. It'll show you everything. Um and make it really easy for you to like do a car search without having to you know visit every dealership or visit their dealerships and stuff like that so yeah you guys this is how i literally found my car on carvana you'll just finalize your order and everything like that they'll give you a pickup date to go get your car so once everything was done and approved um i they set my pickup date for january 13th which is wednesday at 2 p.m and if you have a co-signer um, basically a co-signer is someone like if you don't have credit you need like someone who does to help you get the car so basically if you have a co-signer you have they have to go with you to pick up the car and if you don't then you can just go pick up the car yourself I went to go pick up the car and we went inside and basically you just sit at a table with your I forget what he's called like your the person helping you basically someone that's going to be helping you or assisting with the car so basically you guys can he will like message you their person will message you and you guys will talk back and forth and you'll send information back and forth and stuff like that so we met up with him in person and literally all we did was just like sign the papers i think the delivery process will be different they will come to you and i guess you'll just sign and do everything online 
So we went in, we signed the papers and everything, and literally, you guys, this experience was the coolest thing I've ever seen. So at the Carvana location, it's like a car vending machine. So you go, you sign your papers, and then your car is sitting in the vending machine. I'll show you guys, I think I have the clip. So they give you an actual coin to put in the vending machine thing, and they give you like a coin to take home. So this is what the coin looks like. It was literally the coolest thing. This is a little keepsake. I got the car and when he pulled the car out of the vending machine and brought it outside, basically he gave me the opportunity to look at the car and inspect it, make sure everything looks good, like how it did on the website. And literally after that, I was good to go. So basically this car buying experience with Carvana, they just made it really easy. Like, So I would definitely say Carvana is like 10 out of 10. Their service was great. Everything was fast. For me, being an impatient person, everything went fast and very smoothly. So if you do plan on buying a car, I would just suggest going to Carvana if you find something on there that you like. My car is running perfectly. I love this car, you guys. From the vision I had, this was the car that I was supposed to get because literally when I show you guys inside, it literally fits the description that I saw in my mind. That's pretty much it for the story time. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions or anything, make sure you leave a comment down below and I will definitely get back to you guys. So yeah, guys, so let's go ahead and get into this car tour so you guys can see my car.